In a world where technology is advancing at a rapid pace, Elon Musk is once again ahead of the game with the announcement of the long-awaited delivery of the Tesla Bot Gen 2, also known as Optimus. In an update that promises to revolutionize human-robot interaction, Musk revealed the production schedule for the V1 model, which is finally ready to go into action. In this video, we will explore all the exciting details of this new era of Tesla robotics, from Optimus's impressive capabilities to the implications of this innovation for the future of the industry and work. Get ready for a journey into the future of technology, where the limits of automation are about to be challenged and redefined. The recent change in the release plan for the Tesla Optimus surprised many, with Elon Musk confirming that the production of the humanoid robot is now scheduled for 2025. This new timeline suggests that we will have to wait a little longer to acquire the Optimus units, although a rental program may start before then. Moreover, Elon's business plans for 2026 raise a pertinent question, when will we actually be able to get our hands on Optimus? Before diving into this new schedule, it's important to highlight some relevant information that Elon shared during the recent second quarter earnings call for Tesla. Recently, many significant updates have emerged, as we had predicted. Firstly, a major breakthrough with the Optimus robot was revealed. The robot is already performing tasks at Tesla's factories, and the initial production version is expected to begin limited production early next year initially for internal company use. Many of us presumed that Tesla would focus solely on producing a high-end final version of its humanoid robot, considering that versions like Gen 1 or Gen 2 would only be for research and development, with the aim of advancing to the Gen 3 version. However, that assumption was wrong. A recent Tesla video showed Optimus folding a shirt in its development facility, revealing that several units of Gen 1 are being built, indicating that the company is not neglecting the progress made with Optimus. In previous episodes about the robot, we also predicted that Tesla would launch three versions at different price points, with the number of features varying in each. Elon mentioned that Tesla would start producing a limited quantity of Gen 1 for internal use, which leads to the question, which version of the robot will be available to customers? According to Elon, the version that will be offered externally will be Gen 2. We were relieved to hear this news, as Gen 1 seems more suited for operation within Tesla's factory due to its still unrefined design and limited capabilities for commercial use. Therefore, its application is more appropriate for tasks like assembly and machine inspection rather than being marketed to the public. We believe that the price of around $20,000 mentioned by Elon several times refers to this first version, while Gen 2 will likely cost more, but that's just speculation. Returning to what Elon said about Gen 2, it is clear that it brings significant improvements compared to Gen 1. From performance and operational capabilities to design, everything is superior. The more attractive design of Gen 2 will certainly appeal more to users. Gen 2, for example, has been enhanced to be 60% faster in features and armed with 11 degrees of freedom, compared to the 5 to 6 degrees of Gen 1. Furthermore, Gen 2 is even 10 kilograms lighter, representing a weight reduction of about 22 pounds. The evolution of the hardware is remarkable and justifies Elon's decision to make this version available to customers. During the earnings call, two frequently asked questions about Optimus caught attention, the first question when the robot would be available for purchase, and the second inquired about the feasibility of Optimus for business and personal use. Both questions demonstrated significant concern about the timeline for availability to external customers. However, Elon's confirmation brought new perspectives on the future of Optimus. Despite the initial expectations, the timeline for acquiring the humanoid robot has changed. This change was specifically in response to forecasts about AI development, based on a post on X, formerly Twitter, suggesting that humanoid robots would only be a reality by 2029. However, Elon stated that Tesla will have genuinely useful humanoid robots in low production for internal use by next year and, hopefully, mass production for other companies in 2026. This means that Optimus will be available on the market before the general forecast, although with a delay compared to Elon's previous promises, who may once again have overestimated the launch timeline. 
The timeline for the launch of the Tesla Optimus has been altered, as Elon Musk had previously suggested that the humanoid robot could be marketed to external customers by 2025. During the first quarter earnings call for 2024, Musk mentioned that Tesla would begin limited production of its humanoid robots later this year, allowing some models to be tested on simple tasks within the factories, with a reduced quantity sold to customers the following year. However, this schedule has been revised. Initially, Elon was quite optimistic about the progress of Optimus. However, in June, he realized that many updates and revisions were needed before these robots could actually be deployed. These improvements include more agile movements, enhanced hands, communication capability, and a significant advancement in artificial intelligence for essential updates that have proven to be more challenging than anticipated. Additionally, with confirmation that the Gen 3 version will have a new design, it is clear that these updates will require even more time to implement. During the second quarter earnings call, Musk reiterated his intentions to launch the humanoid robots, stating that he expected to have several thousand Optimus robots produced and operating usefully in Tesla's factories by the end of next year, with significant production expansion plan for 2026, when the company would begin supplying robots to external customers. Tesla unveiled the prototype of the humanoid robot Bumblebee at the end of 2022, and if by 2026, nearly five years later, the company still hasn't managed to commercialize the humanoid robot, it would indicate a significant delay. The reality is that commercializing humanoid robots is a considerable challenge, as evidenced by Boston Dynamics, which took nearly a decade to develop Atlas, only to discontinue it with no signs of plans to sell its robots. Recently, Musk indicated in a post on X, formerly Twitter, that the robots could be offered for both sale and rental. While there is skepticism about what he posts on the platform, we believe that the rental program may begin before Tesla officially opens sales of the robots. This initial rental approach serves two purposes, first, it alleviates the financial burden for customers, and second, it is suitable for a scenario where robot production is not yet abundant. Musk's shift in strategy for marketing humanoid robots to external customers, which has been postponed from 2025 to 2026, occurred just before Tesla's shareholder meeting. Musk stated that next year there will be over a thousand, possibly several thousand, Optimus robots working in Tesla's factories. However, he focused only on internal implementation, not mentioning a new timeline for external sales, implying that Tesla will temporarily prioritize internal use. We believe this approach is completely reasonable for two reasons. Firstly, it is unlikely that anyone would be willing to spend between $20,000 and $50,000 on a product that still has many flaws, maintenance issues, and limited functionalities. Therefore, Tesla needs time to refine Optimus, ensuring its quality. Prioritizing the development of the robot within the factory allows the company to test and optimize quality, as well as resolve issues more swiftly. Additionally, Tesla's strategy regarding its electric vehicles was similar, with many of the early models delivered to internal employees before being offered to external customers. Thus, the decision to utilize Optimus in Tesla's factories is not only logical but also a crucial step in ensuring the commercial success of the robot in the future. Integrating the humanoid robot Optimus into the production line of a factory as large as Tesla's represents an audacious and innovative strategic move. In an environment with a constantly rotating team and a colossal workload, the presence of Optimus not only stabilizes the production process but also significantly enhances efficiency. A recent video demonstrating Optimus's mobility and its work using a 4680 battery at Tesla's factory is impressive highlighting the product's effectiveness and immense potential. If we put ourselves in Elon Musk's position, we can clearly see the intelligence and strategic vision behind using Optimus to meet internal interests. This approach not only allows Tesla to save on annual labor costs but also offers an excellent opportunity to start building a humanoid robotic workforce in the factories. After all, no one can predict whether Tesla will face another round of layoffs in the future, although, of course, we hope this does not happen. The importance of Optimus for transforming the world is not a trivial matter. 
Elon's shift in focus from electric vehicles, EVs, to artificial intelligence, AI, and humanoid robots is a logical evolution of his vision, which has developed over time. Electric vehicles were merely a foundation to shorten this path. As demonstrated, Elon is capable of transferring nearly all advanced technologies, such as the full self-driving, FSD, system, sensors, motors, transmission, and batteries from Tesla's EVs to the Optimus robot. This technology transfer shortens the humanoid robot development process compared to the competition. What makes Optimus so important to Elon is evident in his statements during the recent Tesla's second quarter earnings call. He repeatedly asserted that the long-term value of Optimus would surpass that of all Tesla's other products combined. Elon goes further, stating that the Optimus robot could transform Tesla into a company valued at an incredible $25 trillion, which corresponds to more than half the current value of the S&P 500. To put this into context, reaching a market capitalization of $20 trillion would mean Tesla would be worth about eight times what Apple is today. Elon's confidence is a clear sign of his willingness to invest significantly in the development of these robots. The value of Optimus lies not only in its innovation but also in how it represents the natural evolution of technology in the search for solutions to contemporary business challenges, such as the global labor shortage and the need for safer and more efficient methods to perform repetitive or dangerous tasks. Imagine robots operating in polluted areas, where human presence is undesirable, such as chemical plants, waste treatment facilities, or in search and rescue operations. Even bolder, we could envision sending these robots to other planets on exploration missions to search for life, especially considering SpaceX's growing potential for successful launches to Mars. Moreover, if the workforce in factories continues to become scarce, companies like Amazon, the second-largest private company in the US, are already showing concern over the lack of available workers to hire. In response, Amazon is rapidly developing automated solutions, such as robots capable of selecting and storing items much more efficiently than human workers. The retail sector, as a whole, faces significant challenges in finding and retaining reliable workers. Recently, Walmart announced a partnership with Ford and Argo AI to deliver orders directly to customers' homes using autonomous vehicles, a strategy that demonstrates the retail giant's desire to incorporate automation technologies into its supply chain. This initiative aims to promote more customer-centered business practices, such as faster and more efficient deliveries, especially in a landscape that intensified during the pandemic. Walmart is a major customer of Tesla and has already pre-ordered hundreds of Tesla semi-trucks, with expectations that the company will soon use thousands of Optimus vehicles once Tesla can produce them in sufficient quantities to meet external customer demands. While using Optimus to perform tasks is advantageous, it is undeniable that it still has limitations compared to humans. However, in a factory environment, the Optimus robot excels in several aspects, it can operate continuously, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, without fatigue, thus eliminating the possibility of human errors. This combination of strength, endurance, and precision could not only revolutionize the way factories operate but also transform the very essence of work in the future. The implementation of the Optimus humanoid robot on the production line promises to ensure consistent accuracy in its tasks. Additionally, it plays a crucial role in reducing the risk of workplace accidents by taking on dangerous functions and being able to adapt to various activities in manufacturing. With its advanced artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities, AI-powered robots are increasingly taking on repetitive, hazardous, messy, and unpleasant tasks. This frees human workers to focus on more meaningful and safer roles. Optimus, for example, is capable of operating in adverse conditions that would be unfeasible for humans, such as high-temperature environments or locations that require absolute precision. This ability considerably expands the operational capabilities of companies, especially in the automotive sector. At Tesla's factory, the Optimus robot demonstrates superior management and cost advantages compared to human labor. It does not require benefits like health insurance, social security, or pensions, and common issues such as dissatisfaction with working conditions, labor disputes, and the need for breaks and vacations do not apply to Optimus. 
Furthermore, the robot does not participate in union negotiations, does not seek pay raises, and has no complaints or grievances, which simplifies workforce management and reduces administrative and human resources costs. This is one of the reasons Elon Musk is prioritizing the introduction of robots in factories as quickly as possible. Analysts have noted that while the large-scale deployment of such robots may lead to ongoing layoffs, Tesla is expected to reach its goal of a $25 trillion valuation more rapidly. It is impressive to imagine a Tesla factory where hundreds of workers are replaced by a legion of Optimus robots, operating tirelessly, without errors, without risks of accidents, and without benefit demands. Although this vision may be alarming and undesirable, it is clear that hundreds of millions of workers worldwide could be replaced by Tesla's humanoid robots without the need for new innovations in artificial intelligence. This solution is not only economical but also represents a revolutionary advancement in the industry. However, there is no reason for alarm, as the growing demand for humanoid robots will also lead to an increase in jobs related to their production. Elon has already mentioned that manufacturing thousands of Optimus robots will certainly create new job opportunities. It is easy to visualize how Optimus can tackle these challenges and many others, becoming a true robotic assistant. Musk believes that within three to five years, people will be able to acquire an Optimus as a personal assistant. He envisions a utopian future where Tesla's robot handles dangerous and unpleasant tasks, allowing humans to engage in creative and inspiring work or simply enjoy a fulfilling life. Despite the concerns raised by many about the possible decline of electric vehicles due to Musk's emphasis on AI and robots, this perspective is unlikely. Tesla's current valuation, stock performance, and revenue still heavily rely on electric vehicles, especially since Optimus has yet to be fully implemented. During a meeting, a shareholder asked Musk about his personal importance for Tesla's future. He responded, I am a useful accelerator for that future, emphasizing his role in innovation. Musk also mentioned that other companies, including tech startups, are competing for the humanoid robot market, such as Boston Dynamics, Agility Robotics, and Aptronic. What really matters, according to him, is whether Tesla can develop a product that is faster and better than its competitors. Although the delivery of the Optimus robot has experienced delays, this is solely due to the commitment to perfecting the product. Many people believe that even if Optimus were to cost less than $10,000, its operation would be seen merely as a toy, and no one would be interested in acquiring it. Tesla understands this dynamic and, therefore, prioritizes quality. They recognize that the product is still under development and that an attractive price alone will not guarantee consumer confidence. For this reason, the company has decided to take extra time to refine and optimize Optimus, ensuring that when it is finally launched, it meets the high market expectations and is truly useful in our daily lives. So, what do you think about Elon's latest announcements regarding the Optimus timeline? We hope you have learned more about Tesla's plan for Optimus after watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, we humbly ask you to click the like button and join our Tesla World family by subscribing to our channel. That way, you will never miss any of our amazing videos by clicking the bell icon. We greatly value your feedback and your time. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you back soon. Until then, take care, and God bless.